Hello, and welcome to this video, Power Viewer versus NRPV. In this video, we will cover the similarities and differences between the two different Roden Schwarz virtual power meter viewers, Power Viewer and NRPV virtual power meter. These programs allow for an easy to use way to view the precise and reliable measurements taken with your power sensor. Both of these applications are free to download via the Roden Schwarz website and were designed to work with Roden Schwarz power sensors. Remember to download the RNS Visa and NRP toolkit before downloading either software. Specifically, Power Viewer does not require any licenses to operate the software and it works with all RNS power sensors. NRPV is free to use with the newer sensors but requires the purchase of a software license, NRPZ K1, to operate with the older sensors. A license must be purchased for each older sensor that will be used. Before we move forward, let's discuss the sensors that fall into the newer and older series. The table on the screen shows the variety of sensors that are in each category. The double X's distinguish the model numbers of the sensor. You must purchase USB cables to properly interface with both the newer and older sensors. The newer sensors require NRP ZKU cables, while the older sensors can be used with either the NRP Z4 or NRP Z3 cables. Please note that neither of these programs in the video are for use with directional sensors NRTZ series. Let's review some of the similarities before we go into the differences between the two programs. As mentioned before, both of these programs are free to download on the RNS website, and both have the capability to complete continuous, trace, time slot, and statistic measurements. Later in this presentation, we will discuss some differences between the program's similarities not related to measurement type such as their ability to do data logging and math functions. As an example of what the two programs look like, you can see here the signal generator is outputting a continuous negative 40 dBm RF signal. This signal can then be viewed in the continuous window of both NRPV and Power Viewer. While you can use whichever application you prefer, one might be better suited to your needs. For example, both programs support multiple sensors in continuous mode, but only NRPV can function with multiple sensors in the other measurement modes. When operating multiple sensors in Power Viewer, remember to open multi-channel mode to ensure the measurements are done correctly. NRPV can support up to four sensors at once in different measurement modes, as long as they are done in the same measurement window. You can see on the screen screenshots of the two programs running continuous measurements for multiple sensors. Another measurement type is trace. In this video, you can see two wideband sensors doing trace measurements in NRPV. This measurement setup is not possible in Power Viewer because it only supports multiple measurements in continuous mode. Another feature of Power Viewer is its ability for script-based control of the sensor. This feature is only available with Power Viewer, not NRPV. Something else to notice are the program's compatibility with the RNS NRQ6 sensor. NRQ is a frequency selector power sensor that has its own web GUI for measurements, but some basic measurements can be taken with Power Viewer. These measurements are not possible on NRPV. NRPV is capable of doing certain math functions on multiple waveforms you are measuring in numerous measurement modes, while Power Viewer has this capability only in multi-channel mode. One last feature I'm going to highlight is called Data Logger. Data logging allows the user to record and export the data you collect, such as maximum, minimum, and average values in ASCII format. Both of these features can be seen in the images. If data logging is a feature you require, Power Viewer allows for the most flexibility when setting parameters. 
Power Viewer allows you to record based on a set interval time for measurements and duration, while NRPV will record until the user stops in. The image on the screen shows where the parameters in Power Viewer are set. The data collected can then be exported into an external application. In this short video, we described some of the main functions of Power Viewer and NRPV. For a more comprehensive list of what these programs are capable of, please consult the corresponding manuals on the RNS website. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit the Roden Shores website.